What's your name, where are you from, and why are you here today? I'm Blue, I'm from Michigan. I came to town about a year ago, and I work as a street performer out here. I'm Sabrina, I'm 24, and I am from California. I moved out here when I was two, though, so I'm basically a local. And I'm here to make money. Yeah. Right on. Well, as, as a street performer, do you guys face any kind of harassment from law enforcement out here? And, and I know we've had some very, if you want to pan over, we've, we've had some very well-dressed law enforcement here. But I, I, don't think, I don't think they're the ones you guys are worried about. You guys have a great, like, culture here among street performers, right? We like, them. We like those ladies. They're we pretty like chill. Them, yeah. I wouldn't mess with them. No. Well, what, about, what about the cops that actually carry firearms and, and have real badges and actually go and arrest people here? Yeah, they do that pretty regularly. Um, they'll give us tickets for things like obstructing traffic or whatever they can get you for. And then if you don't come to court, usually they'll drop it, but they still, you know, hassle us. Uh, if you don't come to court, then you have a warrant out for your arrest, even if it's just a ticket. Um, so it is pretty tough for us out here because we're constantly sort of, you know, trying to stay out of trouble, but, you know. How much are the tickets usually? I have no idea. I've, I've never, never gotten one yet. I haven't gotten in trouble personally, but I've been with this company for a while, and I've watched a lot of girls get arrested just for, like, standing there. But the thing is, if you're talking back to law enforcement, then that becomes a problem. That's when they arrest you, even though they shouldn't. So, so would you say street performers are subsidizing the bad cop industry here in Las Vegas? I think they actually have a special task force that gets paid just to harass us, actually. Yeah. That's a real thing. <laughs> Even though there's plenty of drug dealers on the strip they could be busting, they choose the boobies. <laughs> so do you think it's gotten worse since marijuana was legalized? Yes, 100%. I have worked this job, and I remember when that happened, and 100% they're a lot worse out here since it's become legalized. So, not that it's, their, it's not weed's fault, okay? I just want to say. <laughs> so to the, to the cops who, who actually go and arrest street performers here, what would your message to them be? Leave us alone. We're not hurting anyone. We're just trying to make money, go arrest drug dealers, not us. Yeah. Thank you. Stop it. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank Appreciate you to it. YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com, as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.